My name is Brett Sealove. I'm a cardiologist with the Meridian Cardiovascular Network, and my focus is on clinical cardiology and heart and vascular related imaging. I'm Ashish Patel. I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist with the Meridian Cardiovascular Network, specializing in heart rhythm disorders. So atrial fibrillation is a heart rhythm disorder that affects uh, over 5 million people in the United States every year. And its problem is, is it can be uh, cause symptoms, and the other problem it can cause is strokes. And if you do have a stroke from atrial fibrillation, uh, there's a higher chance for it to recur again, a higher chance for it to disa be disabling, and even more worrisome is a higher risk for people dying. So this is a very burdensome problem, um, and we have ways to help mitigate that risk, one of which is with blood thinners. But with blood thinners comes a risk. So we now have other tools in our shed, shall we say, that can help um, not only take care of that risk, but allow them not to be on anticoagulation or blood thinners uh, with something called the Watchman device. The Watchman device is an innovative device that is currently now FDA approved that allows for the closure of a small pouch in the upper chamber of the heart called the left atrial appendage. The left atrial appendage is a outpouching upper chamber that is the source of all the clots that occur in patients who have atrial fibrillation. When blood pools in the upper chamber in patients with AFib, it creates tiny little clots and unfortunately they collect in one spot and that is the left atrial appendage. So if we were able to close the left atrial appendage with the Watchman device, which is an umbrella shaped device, then blood flow would not be able to stagnate in the left atrial appendage and clots would not be able to perform, reducing their risk of stroke. Candidates for this device are essentially anybody who is a candidate or deemed a candidate by their physician to be on an oral anticoagulant or a blood thinner. So the FDA has approved this device, a reasonable alternative to a blood thinner uh, for people that have atrial fibrillation. That there's no cutting, sewing, or anything else involved, and all we do is take pictures to make sure that it's, um, there are suitable candidates. So the, the procedure is a low-risk procedure involving uh, a small puncture in a vein in the leg uh, where we're able to thread uh, the catheter up to the heart. Uh, typically, vein-based punctured procedures, what we consider percutaneous procedures, are low risk. So after we know the device is uh, secure, they are off of blood thinners, um, and this device becomes essentially part of their own body, gets uh, essentially sort of absorbed, um, and thus uh, this device will be with them forever and should mitigate the risk of A, stroke, and B, them needing to be on any potent blood thinners for the rest of their life.